Hello fellas and thank you fellas, Nerd Online here bringing you another video, another D&D 5th edition character creation video. Today in this video I am going to be uh, making a barbarian. Uh, weirdly um, one of my least favourite classes even though I love fighters uh, and they're kind of similar. But hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna be making, now this is a character I've had in the works for a while, it's a concept that me and my friend came up with, uh, he's playing Fly Pin J Wheels, the Halfling Bard, if you've been following that series, even though it's not out, because we've only recorded one session, and, uh, we're not even sure if we're gonna release it, who knows, so anyway, he's a Gnome Barbarian. One of my favourite pairings of any class and race, it, it's just so funny. Um, anyway, Greg is his name. He's Greg the Rock Known Barbarian. And his alignment... I'm, we decided he's non-aligned. So I'm just going to leave that blank. It's pretty cool. Um, okay, so first thing I'm going to do, we're going to fill in his stats. Now, uh, Rock Gnomes, they get a plus 1 to Con and a plus 2 to Intelligence. So we're going to put the 8 in here, making that a 10. We're going to put the 10 in Charisma. We will make his Constitution a 15, bumping that up to 16. We'll put his 14 in Strength, but we're going to boost that up every when we get to level 4, because um, this isn't a character I'm going to be playing, this is just an idea for uh, the guy who does want to play him. Uh, sorry. Um, I think I made a mistake with something, but it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, so dexterity. Okay, so we've got uh, uh, 13 and 12 left. doesn't matter where we put them. 13 and 12. So that's plus 1. 0. 0. And plus three constitution, which is pretty good actually. Plus one, plus two. So it all in all is pretty decent. Um, so armor class barbarians get unarmored defense, meaning he gets his dex modifier and his con modifier, bumping it up to a fourteen armor class, which is all in all pretty weak. I mean, it's good without a. It's decent, I guess. It, it's higher than it would be if he was wearing leather armor. Uh, so he gets a plus one initiative. His speed is 25 feet from being a, a gnome. Uh, let me just have a look at some more gnome stuff quickly. Now, uh, we haven't decided what uh, background we're going to go with, so I'm just going to have a look through them in a bit and just decide off of that, because I'm not sure. Uh, neither is he, so we don't know. Anyway, so lang uh, sorry, um, so gnomes get languages. What languages do gnomes get? get common and gnomish. Makes sense. Common and gnomish. Pretty good altogether. Uh, those are two languages, I guess, whatever. Okay, um, so what else does he get from being a rock gnome? He gets, uh, Artificer's Law. No, honestly, it's just from being a regular gnome. He gets Dark Vision. Gnome. Dark Vision. Which all gnomes get, uh, most races get it, get it in fact, but... Still, I like to write down the range, even though it's the same for every race, I think. Okay, uh, Gnome Cunning. Uh, gives me advantage against magic on int, wiz, and ka. Saving throws. Cool. There's a gnome coming for me. I get Artificer's Law. Uh, which 
I get to make an intelligent, meaning uh, whenever I make an intelligence check, um, so add twice proficiency bonus. Bonus on history related to magic, alchemical, and to magical, alchemical, and tech, no logical. Uh, devices. Cool. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, he also gets Tinker, which is one of my favorite feats, uh, which allows him to. So he gets uh, proficiency with Tinker's tools. Okay, sorry guys, I've got to go here. I've just got to check something. I'm going to pause the recording and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Back again. Okay, so anyway, um, sorry about that. I just realised I did something wrong on my last video. Just wanted to correct it while it's still in my head. So, um, anywho, uh, yeah, Tinker. Okay, so I get freaking with Tinker tools. I've written that down. Um, spend one hour plus ten gold pieces. Uh, to make clockwork device with a five AC, AC five, and with one HP. Um, can function for. 24 hours da, 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 da. Okay, uh, so, yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. Yeah, cool Cool, so, uh, yeah, next I want to go to Barbarian Cool stuff I get with being a barbarian. Because barbarians are one of my favourite, well, one of the best classes. They get the most stuff. I feel like they get the coolest stuff. But I don't like them as, I don't like to play as them, so fuck you, barbarians. Woo! So, rage. So, I get, what I want to do is just I get. I like to do that so when I print it I can mark it, mark them down, uh, oh no sorry I only get two at first level I think, yeah I only get two, so uh, I can mark down when I use them, okay, um, so uh, I get, with being a barbarian who is raging, I get advantage on Strength. Strength checks plus saving throws. Uh, strength melee attack roll plus two damage. Um, and, uh, resistance to B slash P slash S damage. Okay. That's really good, actually. Cool. I'm a fan. So yeah, and I also get unarmored defense, which I put in, but I don't really get any thoughts from being a barbarian. I just put unarmored defense 
unarmored. And now my defense. Okay, cool. So that's in. Next thing one do. One D twelve plus my constitution modifier, which is a free, but variants have a D twelve hit die. So um this is you take the maximum so fifteen. I get strength and con. So that's plus four. That is a plus one plus five. I Meaning this guy he's good with it. He's he's strong ish, but um he's better with his uh like yeah, taking a hit. That's what he's good at. He takes the hits. Oh no, sorry, no, sorry. Sarah Wisdom plus one Charisma Zero. Okay. So um I'm just going to pause the recording here and have a look at some backgrounds. I'll be back in a minute. Just uh, give me a minute. Okay, I've decided I'm going for the Outlander background for Greg. Uh, let me just fill that in. Align. Okay. Uh, aligned. Um, so, play a name. I'm not putting that in because he doesn't want his name revealed. Or maybe he does, I don't know. So, anyway, for this, I get athletics and survival. Pretty good, I guess. Um, so, for my tool proficiencies, I get one type of musical instrument. But as I'm going to be DMing the, the game where. Uh, the guy who plays this character. I'm. I've told him that I'm going to allow him to change that musical instrument. I was just talking to him on uh, Facebook. I told him I'm going to allow him to change the musical instrument to um uh to one minute, one minute, one minute, guys, one minute. I'll allow him to change that musical instrument. To one type of either gaming set or, um, yeah, to either a gaming set, um, yeah, yeah, to a gaming set, sorry, just, uh, what is, a uh, hmm, I'm gonna go with a dice set. He's proficient in dice. Yeah, he's... No. No, no. He's proficient in dragon chess. That's cool. Okay, uh... Also from being a barbarian, just quickly, he gets... All weapons. And then, do they get any armor? Do they get armor proficiencies? I'm not sure. Mm. Do they, do they, do they? I'm not sure. Just let me look. Do they? What am I proficient in being a barbarian? Ah, light and medium armor. Weapons, light slash medium armor and shields. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, let me just go back on to Outlander. Cool. So uh, I just want to put in what I get. Oh, no, I also get a language of my choice. Oh, this should be interesting. Hmm. I want a uh, silver. I'm going silver. I don't use that language, much, but it's cool. Kind of fits this guy if he's been living in the wild. Yeah, cool. So I'm going. Uh, so he gets a staff. Whatever. Uh, hunting trap.
Hunting Trap uh, Trophy from an animal uh, that Greg skilled. So I'm going to say that Greg managed to, like, wrestle Greg the Gnome, who is even short for a gnome. Also, uh, we've decided that Greg fights completely naked. Um, so, uh, Greg the short gnome, I've decided he wrestled a bear to the ground once. That's uh, his thing. So, um... Hmm... I'm going to say a black bear, because that's cool. So he once wrestled a black bear to the ground, and, um... What does he carry around of the bears? Hmm... Maybe, um, he is, uh, hmm. We'll come back to it. I'll just write trophy from there. No, just bear claw. He, he has a bear claw. Bear claw. Cool, so that's Bear Claw. Uh, he gets, um. What does, does he get? Uh, he gets Traveler's Close. Nice fit. Is it double L? No, it's not. Uh, it's not double E either. Travel, not Clovers, just Clothes. Um, and a Belt Pouch. No, just Pouch. Containing ten gold. Now, I don't have my dice on me at the minute, so um, I can't really roll to see what he gets uh, for his uh, extra wealth. So I feel like I'm just gonna take the maximum because something's telling me that uh, barbarians don't get much. Yeah, they don't. So I'm gonna say that's eight. Yeah, he, he, the maximum he can get is eighty. So I'm just gonna say he takes the no, I'll say 70, and then that boosts up to an 80. Just, uh, yeah. No, I'll take, um, a half plus one, that's a good thing, so that's 60 altogether, so 70 gold is what he, yeah, he doesn't start off too rich, uh, anyway, so, um, another, does he get anything out, um, Outlander. He gets an outlandish origin. <laughs> um, so I just put origin. What's his origin? He was either a forester, a trapper, a homesteader, a guide, an exile or outcast, a bounty hunter, a pilgrim, a tribal nomad, a hunter gatherer, or a tribal marauder. Hmm. Who's an outcast? Cool. So after outcast, I will go with um. So now personality traits. Uh, scrappy do, but capable. That's kind of the way I imagine him being played. It's up to uh the guy who's playing him how he is played, but um. You know, that's just how I imagine him acting. Um, so I'll look at some personal traits they give. Um, uh, you to do has no respect. or good manners. That's pretty good. Whatever. Uh, I'll just look through the rest of them. No, I'm changing that. (laughs) 
This is in the book, and it's brilliant. In fact, I was raised by wolves. How good is that? Oh, that's just the best. Um, <laughs> so anyway, ideals. Might. The strongest are meant to rule. The strongest are meant to rule. Uh, bonds. My, uh... I will bring terrible wrath. I'll bring wrath upon those who destroy my homeland. Those who seek to destroy my homeland. Okay, so flaws. Um, violence is always the answer. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, cool, so uh, I've got an... Oh, no, wait, have I? No, I haven't. Ooh, I need to put in my feet. Wanderer. What does Wanderer give me? Wanderer, you have an excellent memory for maps and geography. You can always recall the general layout of terrain, settlements, and other features around you. Um... Okay. Good at finding food. Food and navigation. Cool. Um, that's pretty good, I guess. Um, da -da -da. okay. So now, for a, as a barbarian, I'm gonna flip back to that. I'm gonna choose my skill proficiencies first. So what I get is I get either animal handling, uh, athletics, which I've already got, intimidation, which I'm definitely going for, nature, perception, and survival. So I get two of those. I've already got survival and animal handling, so it's between... Uh, I've got to choose one, athletic... Oh, no, sorry. Animal handling, nature, and perception. I've got to choose one. I'm going to go for perception, because he's not... Yeah, whatever. So that becomes a plus three. That becomes a plus four. That becomes a plus three as well. That becomes a plus two. So that becomes plus one. That's plus one. That's plus zero. So just a zero. That's a zero. That's a zero. That's a plus one. That's a zero, plus one, zero, 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 plus one, plus one, plus three. So all in all, he's not bad at um, anything, really. He's... Uh... Whoa, what? How was that? Who knows? Not me. There's a lot of wind outside. That's terrifying, actually. Um, the house just shook. Wow. Strong winds. Um, anyway. Um, 
So because he's got perception, that boosts this up to a 13, which is pretty good going. And now I'm going to choose my equipment. So being a, a barbarian, I get to take the great axe or any martial melee weapon. So just any martial melee weapon, because great axe is a martial melee weapon, so... Hmm... Okay, what does the heavy property do? Ah. No, because he's small, he can't have anything with heavy. I'm going with a flail. So that's plus four to hit. And that's 1d8 plus two bludgeoning damage. Cool. So I'm also going to go with. Um, so I get some other stuff as well. He gets two hand axes or any simple weapon. So. Um, between two hand axes or I'm gonna go great club. That's cool. It's not heavy, it's just two handed. Great club, that's also plus four. Do I want to ten? No, what am I on about? 1d, that's also 1d8 plus 2 bludgeoning. Um, so his weapons do the exact same stuff? Who cares? Um, hmm. What should I do to versify this bit? Oh, cool, yeah, I get javelins. Javelin. I think it's four javelins. So that's also a plus four. Javelins do 1d6 piercing. Plus two piercing. And they can also be thrown, which is pretty good going. Um, whatever. I'm not going to bother with that. So uh, some other equipment he gets an explorer's pack. Yeah, um, barbarians aren't the best equipped guys, it's like, uh, especially not a guy with uh, only 14 strength and who is small. It's not great, certainly, but he's not bad. Anyway, um, I think that's it, I think that's the barbarian done. Bye.